All right, you guys, so there's a lot going on in my house, but I wanted to do this fun haul, so hopefully everybody else cooperates and I can share with you guys the goodies I got. So I actually had um, tried to get a few things from Tarte in at Ulta or Sephora, and they were always out, so I ended up just ordering them. And then I picked up a few things whenever I was um, after a hair appointment, and then everyone has talked up this mascara so much that I had to try it. So now let's just see what I got. So this is Brooklyn and Bailey. If you don't know who they are, they're um, the twin girls of Cute Mom Hairstyles vlog. They're um, really cute, sweet girls. They're actually gonna go to, they just graduated high school and they're going to Baylor, um, which is my alma mater. So I was like, that's cool. But I, I don't watch a lot of their content, but they're really sweet girls. So this is their uh, lash next door. So both the girls have the most beautiful, amazing lashes and they created their own mascara. And when I've seen people trying it, it looked epic. Like it looked so good that I was like, I have to try it. And I believe this was only like 18 bucks. So for a mascara that should be a little higher end, that's not a bad price at all, I thought. Just from you know what I saw, it definitely thickened and lengthened and lifted and it just looked really good. So hopefully I like it because look how cute this packaging is. And you guys, I'm really bad about follow-ups, letting you guys know how I like things. So just ask me on our uh, day in the life vlogs and I'll let you guys know. Look at that. Wow. We'll have to see. It's a pretty intense brush. Okay, and then in addition to it, I picked up some of the little scrunchies for when I pull my hair back, or my girls can wear it too. These are actually really cute though. See, like they've got these little like ears on them, basically, and like they actually have wire in them so you can kind of mold them to create whatever look you wanted. But when you're wearing like a little ponytail or a ponytail bun, I mean, how cute is that? And they're like a velvety material. So I don't remember the name of the collection I got. They were, they had a name for like each color kind of selection, but this one came with this pink, a uh, reddish color and a black. Next, I got my hair cut and so did my daughter at Ulta and then I picked up a few things while I was there. So I got these little hair clips. Look how beautiful. Aren't those pretty? Now they're only going to hold back a little bit of hair, but like, oh my gosh, they're just really pretty. So for like if you're doing a half back or like, you know, pulling your hair back on one side or something. Pretty. Just FYI, Ulta always has really good hair supplies. Like a lot of my headbands and clips and things like that came from there. And then I picked this up. This, um... My hairdresser actually used this on my hair. This is pretty cool because um, it's like a f flat iron heat protectant spray, but it also adds shine. So it's got argon oil in it, and so it does like it does both. It shines your hair up and it heat seals it, and you can do this on dry hair. So I thought that was pretty cool. She was using it in mine, and I liked how it looked. So I got a little one to try to see if I actually use it and like it. And if I do, I'm gonna go get the big one. All right, next, my daughter actually found these. These are the Buxom, they're lip polishes, and but they're uh, names, they're the names of people. So this one is my name, and I actually really loved the color. If I hadn't loved the color, I would not have gotten it. I don't care if it had my name on it. But it just, coincidentally, I was like, that color is beautiful, and it's my name, and my daughter was super excited. She wanted one too, but these are $20 a pop. She's eight years old, she doesn't need lipstick, <laughs> especially $20 lipstick. So I got this. Let me open it and show you guys. It was just such a beautiful color. Um, they, they had different names or in different categories. Like there was a category that had nudes, reds, blah, blah, blah. Mine was actually in a nude category, even though it's pink. But you guys know certain shades of pink are considered in that category. So so this is the Courtney <laughs> color. It's a really, isn't that a beautiful color? It's really pretty. So you should go check it out and see if they have your name and if you like it. Some of the colors I definitely didn't like, so, <laughs> but to each their own. All right, and then next she, um, I was gonna get her just like a little like lightly colored chapstick because uh, she was really excited, but they were out of the NYX ones I was looking for. So I let her get this butter gloss because actually, I mean, honestly, I'll probably end up just using it and letting her use it occasionally. She's just at that age where she's getting curious and things. So anyway, a nice, she picked out a nice pretty, like actual, this, this, this literally looks like her lip color now already, her natural lip color, but it's pretty. I love these butter glosses anyway. They don't last a long time, but they go on really smooth. They're easy to reapply. So I was like, well, I will use it. You know what I mean? Now let's move on to the Tarte stuff because I'm excited to show you guys this because it is a whole lot of fun in a box.
Okay, so first, they send it to you like it's a beauty box, like, which I appreciate. <laughs> okay, so let's just dive right in. So first I've got their, their BB cream. I really wanted to try it. And um, it has a SPF 30 in it, and it's just a tinted treatment primer. You can use this under or under your makeup or um, by itself. So I just wanted to try it out, but it's supposed to last 12 hours, etc. It had really good reviews, so and I'm hoping I got the right color because that's the only thing. But this is the color I got tested at um, the last time I did a color testing at Sephora, so I got fair. So. Hopefully that's good. I love the packaging with the little like faux wood cap. Very cool. All right, so then my eyelash curler is on its last leg, so I just got a new one, but I got a super fun one. Look at this. And this little kit, I, I picked out the one that came with a mini version of their Lights Camera Lashes, which is a really good mascara. They just had a special where to get this, um, wasn't much difference in cost of getting just the like lash curler or whatever, so I was like done because <laughs> I didn't have a little one. But look, it's a mermaid tail. I mean, come on. But besides the fact that it's super fun, um, everyone said it was a really good lash curler. So it's their picture perfect lash curler. I believe they have this in like the not mermaid tail version, but I mean, why not? You know. <laughs> All right, now this I'm excited to try. This is their Creaseless Concealer. So I will let you guys know how this is, but this one, I mean, the reviews on it were were crazy good. And so it has a lot to live up for. I'm expecting a lot out of this based on the reviews. So hopefully it's a really good concealer. I'm excited to try it. And then um, I currently use a, a NYX um, little setting spray. It works okay. Like it's funny when I do wear it, I wear it a lot like when I put on like a BB cream and like run to the gym. And um, I have to admit that my, my, it always looks, my face looks pretty fresh afterwards, even, you know, whatever. So I think it works pretty good, but I don't think it's magical. So I thought I was like, I need to branch out and try some other ones. So I got this one to try. Again, this one had really good reviews and it was part of a sale they were having. So it was a perfect time to try it because I got a discount. The thing that was cool about this is that it was supposed to brighten and kind of smooth the look of your skin so you could wear it by itself or you could do it as a setting like over to on top of your makeup and so um, i saw some people like using it in action and it looked really good it was almost like um a primer so i guess that's where they get the ready part from like it just i don't know it was really cool like i might even be able to just like spritz this on and like run out you know if you're having a good skin day so yeah all right, here are the two samples I picked. You always get to pick samples from like most of the makeup places. They're no exception. So I tried, I wanted to try a sample of this Mermaid Skin H2O Serum just to see. And then I got a sample of their lip paints because I thought, oh, cool, maybe I'll like one. I'm really picky and don't wear lipstick a lot. So it's a good way for me to try it. And now this is what I kept trying to buy everywhere and no one ever had it and no one ever had it in stock so this is the love trust and fairy dust eyeshadow palette it's so gorgeous they had it swatched on um, skin like mine you know you could see it swatched on people with skin that's like matches yours so you could kind of get an idea ahead of time and it looked so amazing i mean come on are you kidding me with this look at this Look at that. Love, trust, and fairy dust. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's open it up. I'll show you guys. It's pretty pretty substantial, too. This is, I like this because, I mean, it's substantial. Like, it feels like it's not going to break. It's heavy. It's nice, but not too heavy and also small enough to be, you could, this could double as a travel. So here you guys go. And as you know, eyeshadow palettes always look different on pictures and cameras no matter what you do so this lighter pink here is actually a little darker in real life same with that color and that one looks pretty true and that one's a little a little warmer a little less cool than it does in here and that one's you know same thing so wow so the shadings they're bronze pinks and that kind of color palette which is my favorite which looks i think really complimentary with me so, um, wow, I'm excited. You guys just, if you're curious, just Google or like look on YouTube to see people using it or people swatching it. 
and because I'm not going to do that, but it looked so promising. I'm always on the lookout for like the perfect palette and I'm hoping this is the one. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching as usual this fun little makeup haul. I kind of go crazy and buy um, a lot of makeup like once a year or once every 18 months or so and then in between I'll just fill in if I need something. And I'm not, I'm one of those people that I do a lot of, I mix drugstore makeup and nice makeup. Kind of whatever I guess like looks cool or <laughs> I'm feeling. It's a variety in my arsenal, I guess you could say. So anyway, I have some I'm excited to try. So y'all remember in the day in the life to ask me sometimes like, how am I liking that mascara? Or what do I think of that? And I'll let you guys know, okay? Thanks for watching everybody. I hope your week is going awesome. And hello to all our new subscribers. I'm so glad you guys have found us and we will talk to everyone next week. Bye guys.